I'm like quick filming some quick YouTube and Facebook art group videos, vlog style with my phone. Sunday morning everybody. It is Sunday morning 11.33 a.m. Bob is off in the Barracuda. I don't know if you can hear that rumbling in the background. Um, he's headed over to the kids house. Um, good morning everybody. It is, I don't know what time it is. I think it's not, I don't think it's 10 a.m. Getting interrupted by Jeeves. It is about 9.30 a.m. ish on Monday, April 5th. And I am obviously in the car. I need to go to the store. We're going to be watching the grand dog, Lily, for like a week. And so we need to stock up on some dog food and stuff. So I'm going to go. And we need salad stuff and some things for us too. We're just out of a few things. So I'm going to go get that done this morning. And then I have to edit the vlog and do the weekly posts because I was just lazy yesterday. I'm recovering from the COVID shot. So that's a thing. Anyway, we're going to go get that done and try to be quick about it and I will be back. Okay, grocery shopping is done and we're gonna head home now, but I wanted to stop and um, we are going to hashtag Fred Meyer and Kroger in the video description here, because I want them to hear this. The Tualatin Fred Meyer, which no, I don't live in Tualatin, so those of you who are like potential stalkers, but I do shop at this store. Your employees are so nice and above board and so excellent in their job and customer service. I, unbeknownst to me, was shopping and I dropped, somehow dropped my rescue inhaler out of my coat pocket. I don't exactly know how it fell out of my coat pocket, but it did near the dairy department. And one of your employees saw it and he must have seen it fall out of my pocket. He chased me down and said, ma'am, did you drop this? I do have asthma. It's really important. I carry a rescue inhaler with me at all times and they're expensive. <laughs> I so much appreciate him going above board to do that. He didn't have to be bothered. I know a lot of people and companies whose employees wouldn't be bothered, but your employees stopped he t picked it up, he made sure I got it back. I so appreciate that, so much. And I think it's important that we remember to say please and thank you and not just complain about things. So this is me doing a public thank you very much. Anyway, spent way more than I intended, but um, yeah, we're gonna go home now and put it all away and then get to editing the video because I still haven't done that yet. All right, I'll be back. morning everybody. I can still say that because it's not lunchtime yet. <laughs> um, I It's 11, about 11.38 a.m. Tuesday, April 6th, FYI. I spent the morning cutting out some magazine stuff for embellishments. Um, these I think are going to go in the downstairs drawing, drawing bag. These are a one quote and then some lists that I think are appropriate to help remind myself of certain things that I want to do something with. Um, up here in the art room, so they're on the desk. Uh, I also cut out a bunch of mixed media paper to go with the rest of my painted canvas um, scraps that I did recently to create some more journals, create the rest of the journals. Um, so that's all ready to go. I think first, after I've now that I've done all of that, I think I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm a little hungry. Mom update. So she is, and dad are getting home health help, and she has had some diagnosis. Um, she's stable, but there she's not gonna improve much. Um, so. It is what it is, and we're trying to make sure she and my dad get the home health help that they need. 
uh, until that's no longer a viable option. So read into that what you will. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard not to invade their privacy. So publicly. So anyway, um, I got over 19,000 steps yesterday. I was really trying to make up for a couple of days of not really walking much because of the not feeling well from the COVID first shot. Um, not that I felt really horrible, but uh, Bob and I just felt kind of off, sort of like we had bad allergy attacks or a slight cold or a mild hangover or all of those. Um, kind of still felt blah yesterday. I feel much better today. Like all day yesterday, my eyes were itchy and I was mucusy and it was gross. Anyway, I felt better today. I'm gonna do the dish, breakfast dishes really quick and then I'm gonna make some lunch and I'll be okay. back. So I whiled away most of the morning making journals and I made a dozen more of the journals uh, with the painted canvas covers. I have some listed already in my Etsy shop and I will put the link down below. I think there's only like four in the Etsy shop right now. I do have a lot more than that, but I'm not gonna list them until I know for sure that y'all want them. Um, my husband got a big old giant car catalog in the mouth. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I also reorganized and sorted my downstairs ephemera pouch for my daily journals added some of the magazine cutouts I did this morning to it and reorganized it a bit. The traveler's notebook setup I was using worked great and all, but it just got to be way too fat. There really wasn't anything in there I was okay with taking out at the moment. So put the traveler's notebook away and did something else. So it's all good. Anyway, it's a beautiful spring day out, nice and warm. Hoping we can go for a walk later. We might have the dog. I'm not sure when they're bringing her over, but I know sometime this afternoon. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So it's about 5.30. We're going out for our evening walk before dinner. We're puppy sitting, lily, crazy pants, no grass for about a week. Um, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> So we're gonna go try to burn off some of her energy and take her for a walk. See what we can see. And then I think it's chicken tacos for dinner tonight. So we're gonna go get that done. I'm gonna see if I can take some pictures for Instagram and I'll be back. Guys, it is Wednesday, bro. Seventh, I think. Anyway, it's about 11.30. Uh, or just before. I'm headed downstairs because I'm hungry. I'm gonna make lunch early. Um, let's see. I got a letter written to my COVID pen pals and that's gonna go out tomorrow. I got an Etsy order wrapped and shipped and that's gonna go out tomorrow. Had a couple of conversations with some friends, um, one who I haven't talked to for a while, and that was so great to hear from her. Um, I got an email newsletter sent out, edited, and then sent out, I found a typo. <laughs> I never find ty typos, but anyway, I corrected it and then I sent that out. Um, I do have an email newsletter where I let you know about new pro upcoming projects. Um, sometimes um, just my current thoughts on the state of my art and, the, and whatever situations. Um, you never kind of never know what's going to pop up in the newsletter. But anyway, if you're interested in getting one, um, the link is in my link tree's list of links, which is down in the video description, along with links to my Etsy shop and all that other stuff. Uh, I did, like I said, wrap up an Etsy order. I sold some more original art of which I do have more in the Etsy shop. So if you're interested in acquiring a piece or two, I try to keep them all decently priced. So anyway, I am going to make some lunch and watch some YouTube while I'm eating lunch. And then I don't know what. <laughs> we'll see. I have a lot of projects up there I should be working on and there's the ongoing situation with my parents, um, but of which I cannot do anything about at the moment. So I'm going to get on with other things and yeah, 
I'll be back. A reminder, I'm teaching a class upcoming with Bea Grob and some other talented artists. And if you're interested in taking that class from us, the link is down in the video description. Um, the earlier bird price is right now. And um, there, is, there is some great content over there. So check it out. And yeah, I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Uh, William Morris Prince turned into stickers. I can't wait to use them in my journals tonight when I do my daily journaling. So that's a good thing. Um, I guess I should go get the mail now <laughs> and probably do the dishes. Chores. Oh joy. All right, I'll be back. Hey, okay, I'm gonna go out for a quick walk. I need some fresh air and some steps. Uh, my mom is declining rapidly. It's a good term to use. My dad used it. Um, she doesn't appear to be getting better. She doesn't appear to be trying to get better. Those are his words, not mine. Dad's overwhelmed. I get to make more phone calls to the doctor's office tomorrow and try to get them some more help. All the things for the things because of the things. So I am going to go walking because I need some steps. I snuck out of the house without Lily. <laughs> Had to make it quick. Um, so I'm going to go do that. I'll go for another walk later with Bob. But yeah, tree guys are here evidently cutting down a good tree. Anyway, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. Thursday, pretty sure it's Thursday, April 8th. Um, 9.30 ish AM, 9.27 to be exact. Um, obviously we're in the car again. Hold on one second. Let's see. Let me back up without whacking into anything because that's always nice. Let me adjust the phone a little bit. There we go. Got my driving glasses on, which I can see without them to drive, but it's best I have them on anymore. Anyway, these ones get dark. Transitions lens. So the brighter the sun is, the darker they will get. Got my windshield wipers going because it rained last night. <sighs> anyway, I got up early this morning and made some calls to my dad and mom's doctors this morning again and trying to help advocate care for more care for them. Dad has finally admitted he can't do it all and he's completely overwhelmed. And any of you who have proud senior men in your life know how hard of a thing that is for them to say. So anyway, uh, I don't know where we're going to go from here with care for both of them, but I guess we'll see. There's some evaluations going on again today and next week. My brother flies back to California today. He's been up there helping and my sister Karen flies in from Iowa next week to help um, and also because I strongly encourage them both to get here now for a visit before she, my mom gets any worse because it is a bad situation so anyway we are going to enough of that we are going to go drop off some Etsy orders and COVID pen pal email, uh, mail at the post office. Um, I have a few people I randomly send notes to about COVID and the journey with that. And then hopefully I get responses back. Um, I've been saving all the responses I get back. I should probably print out at least the last one that I sent if I printed the other ones or not. I don't remember to be honest, but um, I should print the other ones. Anyway, uh, when I get home, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to also probably stop into our local little stationery and scrapbooking store, which is literally across the street, and Value Village, and 
pop over to the kids house they are out of town and I need to go check their mail so I'll probably go do that too while I'm out I've got my keys yeah I've got my keys <laughs> make sure I've got the keys um, check their mailbox while they're gone and all of that stuff I get steps in while I'm doing it so you know it's all good all right getting healthy, losing weight, taking care of myself amidst all the stress and chaos of COVID and sick parents and everything else the world is throwing at us all right now is very important. And so I am doing what I need to for self-care while taking care of my family or at least trying to at the same time. Not starting any new family arguments, not starting any new drama, trying to be helpful and minding my words. Words have power, use them wisely. It's a quote from me. Feel free to use it in your artwork. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, I don't know what time it is. Around three o'clock-ish, I think, maybe. I don't know, to be honest. It's still Thursday. Got a bunch of errands run. Got the kids' mail picked up and all of that stuff. <sighs> a bunch of messaging back and forth with my siblings and my dad regarding my mom. And she's on the decline. I'm just trying to figure out how to say this without one, getting upset on camera and two, divulging and too much of my parents' personal information. What I can tell you is my mom was diagnosed with dementia, among other things, and it is, oh, no, okay. it is um, something that is, what I can tell you is that my mom has a couple of different physical and mental health issues, um, all of which seem to have been coming on for a long time. They are now all sort of coming to a head at the same time, and she appears to be on the decline. Uh, they have in-home health care at the moment. I guess a social worker stopped by this afternoon. I'm continuing to make calls to the doctor's office and try to advocate for my parents to get both of them the help that they need. My mother to be as comfortable as she can be at this time, but also help for my dad um, because I don't want what is probably the inevitable to take my father also. If you get my drift, that's where we're at at the moment with that. So I'm trying really hard not to eat too many cookies or M&Ms and deal with it that way. I'm doing a lot of walking. I did some art and yeah, I don't know. It's a tough situation. Anyway. Decade of Mondays. <sighs> I stopped asking what else is going to happen because every time I ask, something else happens. The universe is just laughing. I'm not laughing. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.30ish on Friday morning, April 9th. I believe it's the 9th of April. To be fair, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I've been having conversations with siblings and my dad and things since early this morning, late last night. We are trying to figure out, there's no way to say it except be blunt, end of life care for my mom. Yes, it's, it's at that point. And the care that she needs, the professional help she needs going forward, she and my dad both. So that's, yeah difficult conversations. Anyway, I've got my coffee. I had those conversations I had to have this morning. Now it's sort of a hurry up and wait situation. And um, hopefully I can help my dad get some answers today. Hopefully. Um, I fed the deer, filled up a bowl with some apples and stuff. And I'm going to go try to get some art done. I might prep some more stuff to make some more paper. Um, 
dig out some more junk mail out of my stash and the trash can to be honest um and make some more paper because i'm really enjoying doing that right now and yeah it's a tough messed up situation anyway all right that's it for the minute i'll be back Okay, so we're going for a walk finally. I'm getting some messages from my niece and I'm gonna have to make some phone calls probably tomorrow for my dad and try to get some information for him. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, or tonight, I don't know if I can do it tonight, I'll do it tonight. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk first. We both need some fresh air and some steps. So we're gonna go see what we can see and I'll be back. morning people it's about 10 30 a.m saturday morning april is it the ninth? Uh, the 10th. 10th oh it's the 10th i lost a day um yeah so it's been an interesting like 12 hours with phone calls from my dad and him finally saying he can't take care of my mom anymore it's too much for him and phone calls to insurance companies and providers and before I fill the siblings in, I need to go for a walk. I need to turn Facebook off. They're all like arguing and chatting and like, I just can't deal with it right now. So we're gonna go for a walk. We're taking Crazy Pants for a walk and uh, I'll turn Facebook and social media back on when we get back, fill them in really quick. And then I think we need to go check mail at the kid's house and go to the grocery store really quick and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's a shit show, people. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. All right, I'm gonna go see what I can see and I'll be back. She's hot to go for another WALK or what? Lily, Lily. Just, Lily. Just, by the way, she's not supposed to jump around on the sofa like that. All right, I'll be okay, back. Hey guys, we are on our way home from picking up some takeout. We decided to go to our favorite barbecue place, uh, Buster's Barbecue in, is that technically Tiger? Tualatin? No, Tigard. It's in Tigard. It's in Tigard, I think. Anyway, it smells so good in the car. I'm so hungry now. Um, my little lecture for the week. We're going to have one right now. Not that I didn't know this before, but it sort of hits home and reality with you when your life partner or a parent or sibling is involved, but the care process for getting care for our ailing, ailing seniors in this country is just shameful. It's absolutely shameful how hard it is to get them the care they need. And that's kind of what we're dealing with at the moment with my mom and dad. Um, she needs more care than he can provide. And the process for trying to get that is just is horrible, strong enough word. I don't even know if it is a strong enough word. Anyway, so we're dealing with that. So good thoughts are welcome. And at some point when I'm past this, 
I don't know, it's got me thinking I, sh I should do something to help other people. Like, this shouldn't be this hard. I don't know that little old me can do anything, but <sighs> makes me want to volunteer or something. Anyway, that's it for this week. It's been interesting, and uh, yeah, but we're still here and we'll keep going. Oh, pothole. Um, hope you've had an less interesting week than me <laughs> but you've had a good one uh, please check out the video description for any appropriate links uh, leave questions comments or concerns if you have them uh, you can follow me on instagram and other social media you can shop in the etsy store uh, to support the free content um, you can join patreon any of those things check them all out i've got a couple facebook art groups all that stuff it's in the video description check it out um Link, link tree list of links. Most of it's over there in the video description. All right. I'm also teaching a class with Bea Grob and a bunch of other uh, creatives here on YouTube and teachers. And the link for that is going to be added from now on to the video description. It starts in June and there is a lot of really great content over there. Early bird pricing is going on right now, so it's a good time to get it. And uh, yeah, I think that's the sales pitch of the week right now. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Take care of our senior citizens, people. All right, that's it for this week. I'll be back. Bye.